Now, one thing you've got to remember in your exams, they ask you all the time, what factors affect the rate of photosynthesis? Now, there's three. Light intensity, availability of carbon dioxide, and temperature. Today, we're going to be looking at all of them. Now, what is a limiting factor? When a process depends on two or more factors, the rate of that process is limited by the factor which is in shorter supply. What does that mean? I'm going to be explaining today. Now, what does it mean exactly? Let's say, for example, as we already know, light is a limiting factor affecting photosynthesis. What happens is when you give, when you give light to a plant, the plant is going to use that light and grow. And what's going to happen is the rate of photosynthesis is going to increase. Okay, it's going to increase. So it's one of the factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis, light. Now, if you give it light, it's going to grow, but it's only going to grow to a certain extent. And then it's going to curve off. It's going to curve off. I'm like, that's enough now. I've had enough light. I need something else. So something else is the limiting factor at that point. Maybe it's the temperature. Maybe it's the carbon dioxide, which is why greenhouses are perfect for plants. You can monitor the light levels. You can monitor the carbon dioxide levels. You can monitor the light levels. Light, temperature and carbon dioxide can all be monitored. And there are three things affecting the rate of photosynthesis. It's extremely important. You understand. Now, what happens is if you give, like I said, you give it even temperature, you increase the temperature, the rate of photosynthesis will increase, but until a certain point, then it'll curve off and say, right, I need something else. And it's a bit like this. Right, so here is my, basically I'm explaining any oxygen produced by photosynthesis. So that's one way of checking how fast the rate is by counting the bubbles. Now, what I mean is when you give some, when you give light, it increases, but then it, it will curve off saying, and there's something else limiting. Okay. Now, one perfect way to understand this is by looking at myself. Now, if I were to model and I was photosynthesis, my belly is a bit like photosynthesis because it's limiting on three different factors. Meal one, meal two, meal three. Go to a restaurant, right? They give me my samosas. That's like my light. I'm like, yeah, so it buzzing, brilliant. So I'm eating my samosas, but then I'm like, do you know what? I've had enough now. Don't give me any of that. Give me my lamb curry and some naan, right? And then eat that. That's like my temperature. Then I'm like, you know what? I've had enough now. Don't give me any more. If you really want my stomach to grow, I need my gulab jamun, okay? So this is like my carbon dioxide. When I have all three, my stomach grows to its limits and it's exactly like photosynthesis. Photosynthesis needs light, temperature and carbon dioxide. You give it light, it's like, yeah, sorted. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. It grows. The, the, the level of photosynthesis increases, but then it's like, oh yeah, no more, no more, no more. Give me my, uh, give me temperature. So you increase the temperature. Fantastic. I'm really happy. But the rate of photosynthesis is not reached its optimal level but then you give it its final carbon dioxide. And that's why these three things affect the rate of photosynthesis. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and peace out. Making me hungry now.